everyone, and welcome back to Banished Radio with you here. And you might not recognize this area just yet, but as I zoom out, you will see this was the area that I was looking at for our other potential fishing dock. And I have made a decision between the last episode and this, and that is we are going to, in fact, go for the isolationist challenge, which means I want to start adding more food or more resources to make food because that is usually my downfall when I try to have a high populated area. I, for whatever reason, just add too many people too quickly and it doesn't work out well so I'm going to start building a little area over here I know it's kind of strange because there's not a ton of room but it'll add more food we're gonna have a barn over here I think we'll run a bridge of cro across this uh, this river of course and it might help us kind of expand into this area which has a lot of room for homes all the way around here so we're gonna we're gonna kind of work that out and see if we can't get 300 citizens without using a trading post I I think we can do it. I really do. Uh, right now we're at 16,000 food. I think, yeah, that's our cap. I'm actually going to take our cap up to 20 before I do anything. And then let's take a look at popping down some buildings or having some buildings built. And let's start off with our fishing dock. And this seems to be about the best area. We really get uh, a big area here. I don't know if I'm going back or forward. Really is going to make a whole lot of difference. Kind of adds a little bit more into the water. Yeah, let's go right here. So let's put that down, and let's find out where a storage barn is going to fit. You know, I think it's also funny, because I say this, and I know a lot of other people say it. We're always calling it a storage barn, but obviously there are no pole barns in the game, so it's almost a Department of Redundancy department when we say that, but I digress a little bit. So let's see. We could probably put the barn. Look at that. I mean, it's not the most uh, sightly thing in the whole wide world, but we could get the barn absolutely right next to the uh, to the fishing dock. Let's try one here for a minute and see if we like that. I can always change that, of course, and then we'll see about where we're going to put some houses. Uh, I'm going to rotate this way because I guess we'll, we'll leave a space here for a bridge and then perhaps a road here. That may work, but as I was doing that, I see that I can't get a house until right here, which probably won't be too bad. I mean, there's no need to be I don't have to be on top. It's it's better to have the storage barn closer to the fishing dock than the homes because they're going to get their fish there. This is not a big distance for them to walk for work. So let's add a few more homes here. And uh, let's see. I guess we'll, let's build a brick even though it's not a, a tight brick like this for one. Uh, we've got a road running in between. Speaking of which, let's take a peek where we would put our bridge. I Since we have the space here, I'm going to go one off because I like the way that looks. So I would dump the bridge there, and we could run a road simply this way, and then of course we can attach it right to the bridge. Bam. There we go. That works out pretty well. Um, I think I will go ahead, of course, delete the road, only because we need to dis uh, construct the bridge first, as you know, before we get over here and start building. Otherwise, they're going to try to find a way over here, and it's never going to happen. This doesn't look awful. I've got a space here. Can I get a house in there? I cannot. So this kind of is a little open area, which doesn't bother me too much because I do like some open areas. I think um, because we can't put a fishing dock here because it'll it'll encroach in the area of this dock, let's see about putting some more houses here. I'm wondering how, how close we can get them. I want to see if I can get two side by side. That's what I'm after, and I can't. So I could make another brick right here, and I think that will work out really well. Yeah, I don't know what else I'll put around here just yet. Uh, I, perhaps I'll add another bridge that spans this gap for no other reason than it'll look nice. And we have wood in abundance. And we're, we're still, uh, we've are we got the quarry over here, so we're still working on some stone. So I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. So let's go down here and let's start pausing our buildings. I think I am going to go ahead and just keep that barn right there. It doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. You know what else I can maybe do? Let's take a quick look. And see, can I get buildings? You know what? Oh, that's a drag. I can almost build a brick right here. I can get three, but not four. Of course, we could offset it by one, which isn't so bad. So we might do that yet as well. But at any rate, let's go over here and let's pause these. Because the first thing I want them to do is go ahead and build a bridge. And then continue to stockpile food as we've now upped our limit to 20,000. Um, what are we doing? I don't remember what our limit is. 1,500. Okay, so we're, we've been reaching our limit when it comes to logs. I'm going to go ahead and take that to 2,000. And that may or may not do something for us. I know we brought up 
Yeah, 700 for firewood. It's early spring. We just came out of winter, which is why this number is low. This number will grow. I think we will probably have to add a another woodcutter, perhaps when we start to build into this area. I may even have to add... I could do it maybe over here with the stockpile. That might work out. But as you can see, we're already putting in our bridge. And that makes me pretty happy. We'll get a couple of... Uh, yeah, just a couple of tiles of road there. Because I don't know quite what I want to do with this area. As you can see, we have a hill. And I'm not sure what to do with that hill. It's kind of pesky. It's kind of in my way. And it bothers me a little bit. And we're hovering right around 17,000 for food. Which is a lot. But that just kind of gives me an idea. Right now, our current food production in excess of 17,000. So, okay. Something to keep an eye on. Uh, how are we up here with our people? Yeah, just enough to keep this area kind of operating. And we have six stone cutters. I'm going to go ahead and make a seventh. That's that's fine. That works out pretty well. And our bridge is already built. So let's go ahead and... You know what? Without having that town hall, it is kind of pesky to find out how many adults... Well, I mean, well, I'm, we have that information, but how close they are to being able to move out. I don't Actually, you don't know if the town hall does tell you that, but otherwise we have to go through here and click and find out that... You know, like, Landre here is 12, so it looks like we've got another six years before uh, he's ready to move out. And another eight years there, so we can kind of go about this way and just keep clicking things until we find people like this, you know. Corlison is, is very close. She's very close to being able to move out. As is Ruse Evelyn. <laughs> it's an interesting name for a boy, don't you think? So... That's one method of doing it, which kind of stinks. If you have a better not better method, do me a favor. Please leave me a comment below because I would love to hear about it. But I was kind of going back and forth about this. And just to, just to kind of show you, if I grab the town hall, yeah, this whole area, unfortunately, is completely useless. So we would have to just kind of try to... We could tuck it back here, which is nice. But I just don't know... Now that we're going to be trying to tra uh, pack in more homes and such, I don't know that's the best idea. Our... Yeah, our lumber, or I'm sorry, our firewood amount is not going up as quick as I want. We're definitely going to have to add another wood chopper over here. So, I think, let us go ahead and start off with, uh, yeah, we'll do this dock. And we will also do the barn as soon as they kind of get a little closer to having the dock finished. And we're going to put this road in as well, at least to there. That makes me feel a little better. Just, I like roads. I like roads. They're they're speedy. They're movement. You know. I know that many of you have noticed that I don't really do double and triple roads, especially in this challenge. We want to keep things kind of packed a little tightly. Um, looking back, I could have optimized this area just a little better, and I still have a chance yet. If I if I move this, I can kind of wrap it around, and I may yet do that because this is wasted space. Um, moving this market back would have allowed me to put houses behind here. Little things like that add up over time so kind of be wary boy we got all kinds of laborers right in a row which is good so let's go ahead and actually we'll get the barn going as well because we have spare builders so let's do eight and five and that'll that'll work pretty good but as i was saying be careful be careful make sure you mark quickly uh or i'm sorry carefully not quickly carefully not quickly when you're trying to build i'm pretty happy with this and i could you know there's no sense in moving the whole market for for what three homes but Depending on what you're trying to achieve, it is something to consider. So once we get this up and this up, I think I will try to go ahead and build this house as well. Hopefully, people will move in. Um, we have some laborers. That means they have, they're, they're ready to go. So if we look up here, I don't know if we have extra people moving in because we might not need them. They have a couple of children, which is good. Yeah, see, we're... Nah, we're, eh, that's okay. Let's focus more on this and... In doing so, where was I? Yes, the woodcutter. Where would I put the woodcutter? If I can find the damn button, I could get a woodcutter. Let me rotate this. I could, oh, I can almost get it off that road. That would have been nice. That's okay, though. I can't do it right here either. Or here. Well, here's not terrible. I'm just, I'm thinking kind of maybe here. And we could have a road to a step down, which is fine. Actually, no, wait, that is on that road. Oh, good. You know what? Okay, all that. And let's put that there. We'll pause that real quick. And then let's see how big a stockpile we can get in between these homes and this woodcutter. So that's flush. We can get a 4x8. You know what? Let's definitely do that. 
And I accidentally hit the wrong button there, which I'm prone to do on occasion. And let's even go ahead. Let's bring this road. Yep, here is fine. And let's get that woodcutter going as well. And then we're also going to start building... Well, let's start with one house and see where we end up. If this house gets filled quickly, I will absolutely build the second one. And then we will have more wood because, yeah, we're... This one person is, is struggling to keep up. I don't know how old they are. Let's see if we can find out. I don't know if that matters, to be honest with you. 55 years old. Not for nothing. People are living longer every single day. But at 55 years old, I can bloody well imagine you wouldn't want your sole job to be out there chopping wood. That's not... Uh, that's a young man's game. That's for sure. At any rate, let's see. Yeah, let's get this house going. And we already have the, uh, yeah, the woodcutters being built as well. Gonna have to see about running this road. Let me take a look at that because you know it, it, you can see if you follow the paths as I was explaining before, they're, they're clearly walking diagonally. Yeah, let's put that in thusly, and we'll, we will wrap this around here and here because I know at some point we are going to build at least these three homes. Uh, this one probably as well, and then uh, speaking of wells, maybe another one over here just so. We have one, you know, I mean, I know the water's close, but safe than sorry, and you know what? It takes a little bit of stone, and that's about it, because we can't use this area for anything else because of this hill. So, just kind of keep that stuff in mind when you're when you're building this. I mean, if a fire breaks out, I would rather have a well right here than have them have to run all the way down to the water, if I can avoid it. Now, obviously, here it's not going to matter so much, right? So we've got our house, and we did have two people move in right away. Let us set this here, and we're going to up our cap to a 1,000 for firewood in the hopes that this person is going to produce fairly quickly. Um, something else I didn't do is quickly pause the game, because now I have shorted myself on fishermen. So if I go to six, how many do I want here? You know what? I want I want all eight. There's no reason to not have eight on, on or well, eight total, four on each dock. And then let's build this house as well. And I really am starting to think a second bridge here is going to be a good idea. Again, because this is this is useless land for the most part. So let's take a look at a bridge. And I could build it... Oh, I could build it anywhere because we haven't uh, started construction here. We've, we've just earmarked it. So if I go one space off... Can I go across there? Sure I can. Let's make that happen. Let's build another bridge. Just because as we build into this area, the quicker they can get to and from the easier it's going to be until we start to expand become a little more self-sufficient. I could build another camp down here. I don't know if I'm going to. It's going to depend on how much food surplus we find ourselves with this new dock. And, I mean, obviously we've just gotten started, but they are, they are producing, which we knew they were going to do. But I just don't know, because the camps do such a great job. They're so strong. I mean, that's, that's where our pretty much the vast majority of everything we need comes from are these camps, our herbs, and we're doing okay with the medicine, our herbs and uh, things like that, and again, we have two matching houses, I wonder how I did that, so we've got fishermen, 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 brilliant, I'm going to go with one more, and I'm going to build it right here in hopes that the woodcutter, the second woodcutter is going to move in right next door, because... Oh, we had a stone cutter die, not the wood cutter. Okay. And look at that. Our bridge is already done. That was pretty quick. These guys are really moving along. Of course, they did have five builders set to the task, I guess. Well, let's go here, and then here, and there. Just because. Like, actually, I don't like the way this connects. And I, you know, it's silly to be so fickle, but sometimes I really, really am. Where is my road removal? Right here. I'm going to remove that. And I think that'll look a little nicer. And if I don't like it, you know what? Honestly, because I'm such a loon, I will tear down the entire thing. Oh, I'm going to have to add another piece. I will tear down the entire thing to make it look the way I want. And we'll end up with a little square there. That's not so awful, right? As we build forward, I think that would be that would be acceptable. And then as we build in blocks, this is going to change. But I just wanted to have them have a way to get to and from as quickly as possible. As you know, roads, of course, are the best way to do that. And if I go here... I can wrap this around. Let's go here, and here, and here, just like so. And now we've kind of cordoned off this area with some high-speed, highfalutin travel ways, as it were. And did we get, we got more fishermen. We got a woodcutter, a laborer. So we have some adults moving in. This dock alone, let's say that um, this is the only, the only food source on this side 
of the, what is that, an island, peninsula, land mass, whatever it might be. On this side of the river, on this side of the Mississippi, if they were, were the only food source and they were producing close to what this is producing, and this is upwards of 2,000 fish a season, the average is about 100 food per citizen per year. So, that could host 20 people all by itself. And we're already starting to stockpile not only tools, because I guess they're, they're going from this barn over to here, but also a good surplus of fish. And we're cracking the 17 mark. Not uh, not crazy just yet, but again, we just got started. And we're already up to what almost gaining on 1400. That means we have plenty of food to support these people. That's important. That's what we want. Let's go ahead to build this one too. I'm gonna keep building them until we kind of run out of people to fill them. And again, you know what? I have room for more stone cutters. Let's bring that to eight. I don't remember what we put our stone cap. 500. Okay, and we've got a long way to go. And a lot of wood is being put here. Oh, because we have the uh, a dirt, because we have two camps right next to it. So, as long as there's room for stone, we'll be okay. How are we doing down here? That one is, is almost full. This one's fine. And that's coming just from this camp, so this one is getting some stone, interestingly enough. Oh boy, I sure hope they're not carting it all the way down. That would be fairly problematic, I think, at some point. Builders, fishermen, children... We've already got this side of the dock going, guys. We really do. And our populace is growing. And I think, what do we got? Another uh, 10 years before we hit the Mountain Men Challenge. And then we'll be solely focused on the isolationist. So, what else can we do? What else do we want to do? I know I keep asking that redundant question. And I think... Yeah, let's... I mean, I want to get these taken care of because it just, you know, bothers me to have them sitting there floating doing nothing. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start with a house down here. Kind of see where that takes me. And then I'm going to look at real fast. Let's do a pause and find out if I were to put a camp down. This would be a really good area for it. I just know that it's not going to be permanent is the reason. You know what might be neat? Hmm. We could build a camp here, which is going to help this entire area up here. But we could also tunnel through and have this be mainly houses. That could be interesting. So we don't have any crops, so if we built another camp down here for foresting, which, is foresting really even necessary? To be honest with you, I don't think that it is. I mean, we're, we're hitting our cap of 2,000. Let's take this up to uh, 3. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do um, planning ahead. This is, this is a proactive game, not a reactive game, because if you try to react... You're going to find yourself behind the eight ball, and you're going to have dead people. So, what I want to make sure is that we have plenty of wood to not only build, but to heat all of the homes that are going to be necessary to house the 300 citizens, on top of making sure we have enough to feed them. We're doing great on tools and clothing. I'm not even sweating it. And we're doing fine with the, the herbs. They're not producing quite as much as I was hoping. Okay, that happens, but we are, we're holding steady, so I'm not, going to, I'm not going to worry too much about that. So, maybe instead of... Forester, we could put. Well, you know what? Let's unpause the game again. And let's just, let's let the game at least run while I'm babbling on and on. We're getting more and more. Let's up this to ten. And now we've got ten stone cutters. So that means most of these people. Yeah, we've got some people who are now going to be living, unfortunately, a little further from from work than they should. Which means I'm actually going to build some houses out this way. It's just a good idea. Uh, I can go here, I think, and not interfere with... Oh yeah, we're safe. Even our hunting circle, yeah, we, we're all through here. Of course, these deer actually, from what I read, they're just animations anyway. It's not really where the deer are, are running, so... Can I get... Oh, I can get some on the side here. And uh, we can get some down here, get some houses down here. So, let's start with... I'm going to line this up to the edge of this, because that looks nice. Let's build a house there, and then we'll see what happens. I'll probably attach a road. Might as well do that. We'll do this. See what this gets us. And if they move in quickly, because we're... Now that we have 10 stone cutter, we need to have houses for them. And I do know that, obviously, we have one stone cutter, but we have a couple of hunters. You know, they're, they're walking here. So we need to have people living locally so we can get this stuff farmed out as quick as we can. And we're having a few people... To, oh, somebody got crushed by a rock. And then an old age death. Is that all we have there? Yeah, that's it. But 
That's still a drag to see it. So we have two youngins already, a stonecutter and a laborer. I'm going to probably take the risk. And we've hit our cap of firewood, so let's take this up to five, uh, 500 to 1500. We'll add 500. And yeah, let's go ahead and build another house up here. I know we were focused down there. I said that's what we're going to do, but upon seeing us reaching our cap so quickly up here, uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. Okay, <laughs> moving right along. We're going to need iron soon as well. Because we have a lot of people working hard on tools. This this sort of thing, will, it's hard on tools. So let's take a look and find out where would we like to place a mine. That's a quarry. I clicked the wrong damn thing. The mines, I like the mines because they're just so much smaller. Oh, we can almost tuck it right behind the quarry. That would have been brilliant. That would have been absolutely brilliant. We can go... No, we can't go. We can go back here, can't we? Sure can. I wonder how close we can get that. That's not a bad area. We could add another stockpile to the left of it. Some more houses. People will be living close. We're going to look at that. Because we're going to have to have a mine at some point soon. Do we get people? We got people. I gather we're in a tailor. That's clearly going to change. And we're going to do one more. And then call this area good for now. Because, man, we've got a lot of laborers coming in. Fantastic. Somebody else is crushed by work. What are you guys doing down there that you're unable to stay out of the way of falling rocks? Is there somebody up here dropping them down as a joke? And I think they're kind of missing the mark. Boy, lots of people dying. This might be a good area for a city building. No. But we can do another house. So what kind of house would I like to do? Let's rotate it. Yeah, let's move it one off because there's no reason not to. And I can only get one house in here anyway. So let's put it right there. And let's see, what model What model would I think looks good? And let's pause that real fast because we don't need it. I just saw this so I figured, eh, what the hey, let's put something down. And they're almost done building this house here. Two people moved in right away. Okay, so have these updated at all? Builders, builders, hunters, nothing yet. They're still all not stone cutters. Sometimes it takes time. Don't lose hope. Do not lose hope because that can take a little bit. And we're doing great. Our production, our numbers are where we want them to be. What did I set our cap for logs? I don't remember. 3,000. Okay, so we're holding steady at about 2,200 a year. 21, 2,200 every year, which is which is where we want to be. Our food is getting where we need it to be, though. It's almost at 20,000, 20, so we're obviously completely safe as far as expansion in the food category, it's a matter of making sure we have enough people to reproduce because we have students, blah, blah, blah. Did I move this house too far back? I sure did. That's ah, okay. It looks nice. It's not hurting anything. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm going back between this area here and all the way out here. And I should probably set my camera so it's a quicker uh, back and forth. But hunters, student, foresters, hunters. Hunters and foresters are good. Stonecutter, hunter, stonecutter, hunter, hunter. We still need homes back here. Okay. Can I fit another one in here? Oh, I can't. You know what, though? I can, actually, because I can remove that, and I'm going to. Road removal. Let's get rid of that real fast, and as soon as they remove that, we can drop another home. And hopefully that will help this area a little bit. Come on, get out there. There we go. So let's put another house right there. I'm just kind of concerned because we have stun t t uh, bleh bleh, easy for me to say. We have ten stone cutters, but we don't have. And look, some people dying. What do we have here? Just old age deaths. Okay, they do happen. It is a drag, but I mean, you know, what are we gonna do? We have shoot, we have a uh, hundred people. Damn near. What? Ninety five people? Really? Wow, that's great. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Can you tell? Ten years. Ten years, folks. We're on our way. We pay attention to this house real fast. I'm zoom in and check out what's going on. It's kind of hard to see with all these trees in the way, but I like the trees. They make me happy. So, I wish this was an animation. I wish this worked, but that's okay. That, that would have been a lot to ask, every last detail. Perhaps one of the mods will make that happen, right? I know right now a lot of the forums, the only thing happening is everybody's just making mod requests like mad. <laughs> build me this, build me that. So, okay, so we don't have somebody filling it quickly, which... Is a drag, and now we do stone cutter. Wonderful. That's what I want to read. I want to see more stone cutters back here because I know we have a lot of hunters and foresters. I just, 
I'm kind of wondering, like, what's going on here? Yeah, see, stonecutters are all in here. Well, all I can do is keep building and seeing how that pans out. Sometimes, folks, that's what you have to do as well. Again, keep an eye on your food. We're still, I mean, we're still well in surplus. But we just have added, what, four houses here and four houses here. We just added eight homes. So that's at least, what, 1,600 food that they moved quickly. Um, and if you're not prepared for something like that, that can be a bigger dip than you think. So, I don't see anything else imperative this second. So I guess we're going to try to add <laughs> one more home. That's going to be the mantra of this episode, is just one more home. Where do I want to put it? I could put it right here if I remove this little spot. And I think I will. Again, road removal tool. Do your magic bits. It's getting somebody to stop on their way to or from work. I mean, who wants to go to work, eat lunch, and have to go out there and break some, break some rocks when they're not breaking rocks, as it were? Oh, somebody. Come on. There we go. Good. So let's put that right there. And we'll try to get another person in. This is full. We need another stockpile. Let me think about what we want to do about that, because I don't want to go any further east, because I don't want to get in the way of the hunting cabin. Obviously, food is, is paramount for us, so I don't want to get in there. So I'm going to have to think about where to put another stockpile. I mean, we can start going this way, but... Oh, we really even can't. Oh, that was too large. Yeah, we're, we're going to be limited. We have to go here-ish. Actually, that's pretty good. But that's going to eat into where our homes are going to be. So we'll have to pay attention to that. Uh, so we got 100 and a student. Boy, I really hope more stonecutters move in. And we are still... Yeah, see, I can put a couple homes here, but I don't really want to go too far south along this, this edge, along that road, because I'm going to find that we kind of know our food production. And I didn't even look at a fishing dock over here. I'm just going to do that because I'm here. Let's take a quick peek. You know what, guys? That's a really good amount, too. Boy. Let's pause that, put this down, and hit pause just in case. Because I think that could be something beneficial, especially if we put in the mine here, stockpile, more houses, a couple of barns. This little area could be... Yeah, I think this little area could be harvested. I mean, use every last bit that you can. Let me grab this and see can't quite get a house in here, can I? When I doubt, rotate. No. Okay. But we do have uh, ample area back here, so that's what we're going to look at. But we're going to look at it in the next episode. Yeah, let's go ahead and unpause the game. We'll let it run on its way out, see what's going on down here, and take a look at our little new burg that we've added. But that is going to do it for this episode, folks. I know this wasn't the most exciting one. We're kind of getting that stage where we need to start doing some more of that advanced planning, which is, you know, I really enjoy it. But at the same time, you know, it's not always uh, action-packed, as it were. So if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Leave a comment if you'd like to see more like it. Don't forget to check out the City Builder Collective, the link to which is in the video below. And we are going to see you next time for another episode of Banish the Mountain Men Challenge.